Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Let's Vibe, the channel all about crystals and our feelings. So it's been a couple months since I last posted a video. Um, I was in Washington State um, helping out family, um, and I was there for about a full two, almost a full two months. Um, and that whole trip went well. Um, but I just, during that time, um, I, I didn't feel called to, or, or compelled to make any videos. I, I kept thinking about it, but then I would go to do it and then I, it just felt like, no, it's not the, <laughs> not the right timing basically. And that's basically how I approach this channel. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I don't apply any kind of, um, set schedule to it, which of course I know is like completely going against, <clears throat> excuse me, going against the typical rules for um, gaining traction in social media. You know, you want to, they always tell you to have a schedule to, to, <laughs> post regularly and um i tried that for a little bit but i quickly realized like this it just has to be on an intuitive level on an intuitive schedule so to speak um i've resisted that kind of thinking and that kind of living for a very long time because it's the opposite of logic. It's, it's, it's intuition. It's a deep knowing and a feeling. And, um, yeah, I, so that's, that's how my so-called schedule works when, when it comes to posting videos on, on YouTube. Um, but anyway, we are in Pisces season. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything for Aquarius season. I know I, you know, I don't, I, I've been doing a video for each month of the, or each sign of the Zodiac. Um, but we're gonna skip Aquarius and um, I just want to focus on Pisces season and Pisces energy. Um, it's been a really interesting Pisces season. Um, it's been, you know, Pisces energy is very, it's all about intuition. It's all about your emotions and um, personally I have Pisces in my 12th house. Is that right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, wrong. Not my 12th house, 8th house. <laughs> um, I have Pisces in my 8th house. And I have Mercury and Jupiter in that house in Pisces. So I've got a fair amount of Pisces energy. And um, I have my moon in the 12th house, which is the house of Pisces. That's what I was thinking of earlier. Anyway, so... Yeah, Pisces energy. It's it's very intuitive, it's emotional, it's dreamy, it's all about um the psyche, 
um, the modern planetary ruler of Pisces is Neptune and it's it's all about higher spirituality and um, connection with the divine. Um, the 12th house that uh, Pisces rules is the house of the divine, of God, of the unknown, of mysteries. And um, so it's a very mystical sign. And I was, the last few days I was thinking, you know, what stone could I uh, talk about for this Pisces season? Because I've already done um, amethyst a couple of times. I've done rose quartz. I've done a number of the typically Piscean crystals. Um, so I decided to go for one that's a little more out there, a little different, definitely a bit unusual, but incredibly beautiful. Excuse me. And that would be Avalonite. So I will bring this in close because this, <laughs> as you can see, this is a geode. Um, I actually have the whole geode. I found this on Etsy. <laughs> um, it was not overly expensive. Um, it's from Mexico and so it's, a, I, yeah, I was able to find this, a complete geode, which I, I rarely see that in crystal shops. Usually you just see, um, one half. Uh, so you can see it's like, first of all, it's this beautiful powder blue color. This is a form of chalcedony, blue chalcedony. It's um, druzy blue chalcedony, so it gives it that powdery, snowy look. Um, but you can also see in the middle there, there's a large crystal, like a full crystal formation, a large, uh, you know, like what you would expect of a, of a crystal. Um, and, and this one has has its own, um, it's, it's a lot smaller. Um, oh, there it is. It's right up in this corner, that little nook. There's a crystal, a uh, smaller, but more noticeable crystal wedged in there. Um, so incredibly beautiful and unusual form of chalcedony. And so Avalonite is all about dreams and imagination. Um, this stone has quite a high vibration. It's got like a maybe slightly fuzzy type of vibration. I was trying, <laughs> I was really trying to think like, how do I describe this, this energy? Um, it's almost tingly in a, in a sense, like in a very subtle sense. And, and this stone, this, this crystal is, um, Avalonite always, comes in this form. You know, blue chalcedony can take different forms, but um, avalonite specifically is uh, geodes like this. Um, and it, that name, avalonite, is taken from Avalon in, in England. Now, I'm not, I'm not an expert on the spiritual locations found throughout England and, and Britain. Um, but I know I've heard of Avalon, I've heard of um, Glastonbury, 
and there's another one that I'm I'm blanking on but yeah there are a number of sacred sites in England and this stone is associated with Glastonbury um, and it's all about magic this this stone is is very magical it's very mystical this this stone puts you in a very mystical space and state of mind um i think you know it took me a while i i bought this stone several years ago and it, it's taken me several years to really get to know the the energy of this but also to feel comfortable with its energy because it, it is quite a strong high vibration um but that is perfect for imagination and clarifying your dreams focusing on your dreams stepping into the things that you're wanting to manifest um and because this is tied to places like Glastonbury and Avalon, um, it also has a, a, a connection with the fairy realm and the, the mythical kingdoms like, um, like Merlin and, and you know, um, the Round Table and, and those kinds of, of myths and the magic, um, the magic of Merlin, and um, this this crystal is is all about that. Um, and you know, some people channel Merlin and work with Merlin's energy. Um, he is considered a spiritual guide um, in the spiritual realm. And, um, and so this is definitely a stone that can aid in working with that kind of magical energy. Um, and, and also connecting with gar with fairies, with the fairy realm, you know, there's many different kinds of fairies and fairy, uh, realms in the spiritual world and in the metaphysical world and um, fairy energy is definitely much like this Avalonite with its very high vibration, um, slightly a little unusual. It feels, it feels different. It feels, maybe it feels a little odd or uncomfortable at first, but um, It is also a very peaceful and loving vibration as well. Um, and the fact that it's blue and chalcedony means that it's also really going to resonate powerfully with the throat chakra. Um, I can I can definitely feel it in my own throat chakra and it, you know, blue chalcedony helps with our communication skills and learning to communicate um, in a higher way, in a, in, a, in a more loving manner, in a more peaceful manner. Um, so yeah, if, if you come across um, Avalonite, if you're if you're really drawn to um, the mystical side of things and the magical and exploring that um, with, of course, the protection of your guides and guardians, um, you don't want to go out there and do this and, and, and do that kind of exploration without um, spiritual protection. And of course, you know, obviously crystals play a big part in um, protecting us. Uh, 
but yeah, this is this is really a incredibly beautiful and and very special stone with a very very special energy um and so keep an eye out if if you're drawn to that kind of thing now um as far as a song <laughs> i just I keep being drawn to an Ayumi Hamasaki song. It's called Fairyland. <laughs> it's... <laughs> um, it is just... Yeah, I think it kind of captures some of that fairy-like energy. <laughs> um, very joyful, happy kind of song. Very bright. Uh, song and I will include a link to an English translation of the lyrics because it is all in Japanese but I was reading through the lyrics and I'm thinking to myself no wonder I always had a difficult time understanding her music understanding her lyrics you know when I was studying Japanese I would try to understand her songs and I would translate her lyrics and she's like stream of consciousness almost. Just, she's very poetic. She's very, it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, of course I didn't understand what she was singing about. Like this is, <laughs> you'll see, <laughs> you'll see. Just if you click on the link to the English lyrics, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, please leave a comment or a question. I love hearing from you. Um, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thank you so much for vibing with me.